Hello guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to find pages websites are hiding from search engines like Google, Bing and Yahoo. If you are new to this channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button. I upload some really cool ethical hacking videos every week on this channel. In order to get notified anytime I upload new content, just hit the notification bell button. Most websites restrict search engines from indexing some of their pages due to various reasons. One of the reasons could be that the web page contains member-only contents. This means that only authenticated users should have access to such content. Another reason could be that the web page or directory contains sensitive content or resources that should only be used internally by the website. So imagine search engines being able to crawl through such pages and directories. That would be a complete disaster. So the way websites are able to restrict search engines from crawling some of their pages is through a file called robots.txt. The robots.txt file, also known as the robots exclusion protocol, is a text file that tells search engines which pages on a website to crawl or not to crawl. Before a search engine visits a target, it will check the robots.txt for instructions. Robots.txt is stored in the root directory of a domain. It is the first document that crawlers open when visiting a website. The robots.txt is very useful to hackers as it makes it easy for a hacker to know pages and directories a website really care about and don't want search engines to crawl through. So let's see how to locate a robots.txt file on a website. Let's make use of a website called examples.com for this lesson. To view the robots.txt file on examples.com, just add the slash robots.txt at the end of the domain name. Examples.com is preventing search engines from indexing some sensitive pages like the WP admin and login using the robots disallow command. The text user agent asterisk is referring to all search engines, boats, web spiders and crawlers. So this means that they all have to follow these instructions. Did you notice the text allow above sitemap? That's an instruction that tells search engines that they are free to crawl through that particular page or directory. Let's find the robot.txt file of another website. Let's say tesla.com. Whoa, whoa, guys. It seems tesla.com has a lot in their robots.txt file. So many allows and some few disallows. So guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor by hitting the like button and also share with others. Check out my next video where I will be showing you how to hack using Google. Yes, in as much as Google is a search engine, it is also a powerful tool hackers use for hacking. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram to keep the conversation flowing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.